Hi everyone, today I'm coming at you with my mask proof makeup routine and I'm going to do a halo eye. So I tested this, this out at work and it worked really well. Um, and the main thing that helps is this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I use mine in 3N1. But first I have to go in with a primer. This is from Tatcha. I got this sample the last time I went to Sephora. It is their Hang on, I'm grabbing it right now. It is the Liquid Silk Canvas. I liked it, but I will say I prefer the NYX Angel Veil primer uh, for this routine. So that's one thing that I would switch out, but this was a nice primer. Sorry for the drawer. Next, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Like I said, I use it in 3N1. I really like it as a color match. Um, and I'm just applying it with this paddle brush that I got from my BoxyCharm. I love paddle brushes. I think they, you know, keep the foundation at its regular coverage level, where a beauty blender will kind of make it a little more liquidy or sheer it out. Now I'm using the concealer from Juvia's Place. I ended up not loving this concealer. It is very brightening and you're going to see it here. I apply it with a beauty blender but I don't love it as far, well, it's not a beauty blender by the way, it's the e.l.f. complexion sponge, which I love, but I don't love this um, concealer. So this is one I've now used it probably, I don't know, seven or eight times and it's just not my favorite. All right, now I'm gonna try the Hourglass loose powder. I did like this for setting all over my face. Um, it's the veil primer. I'm sorry, the veil powder. So I used it under my eyes, but like I said, I really didn't like the concealer, but I do like this all over my face. It's a very fine powder. I thought it, you know, overall is very nice. And then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I have mine in translucent. Um, the brush I'm using is super fluffy. Now look at this. Look, my son comes in. Oh, this was so funny. So, <laughs> he's noticing he's on film. So my dog grabbed onto his shirt and my son oh, no. went. <laughs> well, my son's in the room too. Anyway, it was pretty funny to watch him. I suggested that he get a shirt on. Okay, back to back to the makeup. So I'm going into the Milani Stay Matte, it's not Stay Matte, anyway, the Milani Bronzer. I have it in the color Sunlight. It's a silky matte bronzer and I love this. Using my Real Techniques powder brush. I love this one, it's beautiful. And I've used it quite a bit since I've gotten it. Now for blush, I'm using the Instain blush and the color that I have is Tool, Tool, T-O-I-L-E. Um, such a gorgeous blush, but I want you to notice I'm like putting the tiniest dot on my brush because it is pigmented. You gotta be careful with this sucker. But it's great, lasts incredibly long. You'll see that at the end of my video. It's just pretty amazing. Just brings life to your face, right? Isn't that so much better? And then I'm going to put some all nighter setting spray all over my face. I'm trying to be good about spraying this in the middle of my makeup routine, especially when I finish my face makeup and before I go to my eyes. So as usual, the Milani eye primer. I was just telling my mom how she needs to get this. It just makes such a difference on the longevity of your eyeshadows. And the palette that I'm using today is the One Size Beauty Visionary Palette. This is from Patrick Star. My sister let me use this, um, and I love it. But first I did my brows off camera, <laughs> and a little bit of Anastasia brow gel. I used brow to do my brows. But back to the palette, so my sister um, let me use this. I don't have it in front of me right now, so I can't tell you all the colors that I used, but you can see what I'm pointing to. I really found that this eyeshadow palette just worked really well. Very easy to blend. I loved these taupey shades. They were just so fabulous. So I'm just using a Morphe fluffy brush here to blend this. And I love it. 
It's a little denser of a brush. Now I'm going into this army green color, which is really great too. And I'm going to end up creating a halo eye. So a halo eye is when you put shadow both on the inner and outer corner, and then in the center you pop a shimmer or a lighter shade. Now a lot of people do this with concealer, so they would work on all of the lid and crease work and they use a concealer to kind of cancel it out, make a cut crease for their halo eye. But I found that these shadows worked really well for a subtle halo eye without having to use concealer. The concealer part, by the way, is not really tricky to be totally honest with you, but um, on a day-to-day -day basis I just kind of forget that I know how to do that. <laughs> so you'll just see I'm working this khaki green color all in the lid and building it up on the outer and then eventually the inner side. And you'll see that I bring another brush in to kind of like help my help me do this. So first before I do that I'm just gonna blend the khaki and that original taupe color I put together and um, just to try to have no harsh lines. Checking it out. You could definitely stop there, but I'm going to keep going. So I'm putting this really beautiful, light, shimmery green. Sorry that I'm flipping you off. I should have used another finger. So sorry. Look at how pretty that is. So it's not insanely bright. Like, it's totally wearable. I can see everyone wearing this and it not being an issue. So it just brings some pretty color to the lid. And I always apply shimmers with my finger. Now I'm using a little tiny dense brush. I'm going back into that khaki green, army green color. And you'll see me start to build this on the inner corner, but also put a pretty noticeable line in my crease. Now I've noticed this every time I'm seeing people's halo eyes that they really connect that top shade straight across. And then they have the um, brighter shade in the middle. I think this makes for a really good look. So now I'm just, after that really small detailed brush, now I'm just going with a little bit bigger of a brush and just making that line a little bit darker. So then it's really, it, it makes the center color pop a little bit more. Now I blend a little bit, this a little bit more in a minute, um, just because with all the different size brushes, I need to eventually go back to a bigger brush. So now on the lower rim, I'm using that um, army green color again just smoking out that lower lash line. And now going back to that taupe shade, just to blend out that green color. So basically mimicking what's happening on the top. Just kind of keep that in mind, that's always a good tip. Mimic what you do on the bottom, on the top. So now going back into that beautiful shade, I'm gonna actually put this in my lower lash line right in the center so again mimicking what I did on top I really like this as a like strategy when you're doing a halo eye to bring that metallic into the center of your lower lash line I'm using my favorite Believe Beauty um, mascara about voluminized mascara it is fabulous highly highly recommend you can find it at Dollar General I was so impressed with most of the makeup I got from there. So I'm using one coat of that because it's almost totally dried out. And then I'm going to top it with my ColourPop Black Mascara. Now I'm here to tell you, this one is in my declutter now. Um, I found that this mascara did, um, do I want to call it run? It transferred to my lower lash line. Um, so that's a no-go for me. So this one, I mean, it makes your lashes look great, but for me it ran, so you can try it. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of the Rimmel Nude Eyeliner in the bottom lid, it is so hard to open, uh, in the bottom, bottom rim. Uh, this just wakes up my eyes a little bit. And then, as usual, the Thrive Cosmetics um, Mascara. They're tubing mascara, absolutely love it, in the bottom lash. So there you go. But now, let's put some lips on. So these are the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These are amazing. I mixed two colors because as you'll see, the first one is really neutral, um, super nude look. I, that's what I meant, not neutral, but nude look. I, I think it kind of canceled out my lips, so it's not my favorite, but the 
pink that I have is really bright, so I like to mix them. Now you'll see me with this weird face while the lipstick dries. I don't want to move my mouth too much because um, you'll get all the cracks in your lips. So I just kind of sit there with my mouth open waiting for it to dry. I really like this liquid lipstick. It lasts on my lips incredibly well. And if you noticed in my last video, lipstick lasting is a problem. So here I'm going to try to set my face again. Uh, and I thought I was covering my eyelashes. Clearly I wasn't. I didn't get any problems there, but it's an issue. So here's the finished look and the end of my voiceover. And you will see me come back with a little review of all of the things that I used. I look a little rough. Warning. Alright friends, it is the end of the day. I put on my makeup this morning at... Um... 8 o'clock? 7.30? I don't know. It's been a while. It is now 9.39. Um, I wore my mask for two straight hours talking the entire time. And then I've worn it several times since then. So here's what I have to say. The makeup wore off a bunch on my nose. That happened probably by hour two with the mask on. But still was like looking okay. Now I've been like rubbing my face and I'm tired. But my blush is still on. Um, the bronzer I feel like is still showing up. My I can't see because I took my contacts off. But I think my eyeshadow is still going. Um, I'm tired. Um, but I think this held up pretty well. Now some of the makeup did end up on the inside of my mask. Um, at the parts that were flat out touching me. And I did put on this like plastic shield over me and it had some makeup this is a clean one but it had some makeup along those edges um but when i got home after tutoring and eating lunch out i felt like um i still like my makeup still looked really good and then um i had dinner and i felt like my makeup still looked good and i still had a little bit of lipstick on you could still see a little bit of the color but not too much but overall, I think this was a pretty good time for the, you know, for like testing out the makeup. I think I want to change the concealer. I didn't love the way that wore today or with the powder on top. And I think I need to spray my face a little bit better. And I, I might go back to my Stay Matte Powder from um, Rimmel instead of the Hourglass one. So there's a couple things I want to tweak. I also can tweak the um, primer that I put on. I tried that Tatcha one which I haven't tried before. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. I did feel the foundation was a little bit heavy on my um, forehead area, um, although now it feels better. Like I said, I can't actually see what I'm telling you. But, um, but overall, I'm really impressed that the blush still stayed. That is like the winner, and part of that is what's happening underneath. So overall, I think this was a pretty good time. I don't like seeing makeup on my mask, so I'm not sure if this is totally the winning combination for the mask. But I will keep trying and I will report back. Hope everyone has a good night. I need to go to bed. Bye.